hands up if you've heard the term data analytics in conjunction with the accounting profession. We're hearing it more and more in terms of the skills we think accounting students and accounting graduates need to succeed in the profession. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about what is data analytics, um, why it's important for your career, and free tools, software, and courses that you can use to skill up in this particular area. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, Dr. Amanda White here. For those who are returning, hi, it's great to see you again. For those who are new, my name is Dr. Amanda White. I'm a chartered accountant. I have a PhD in behavioral audit. I teach accounting and audit at university, and I'm a real advocate, um, and I'm really passionate about accounting as a career and one that's open to everyone. So today I wanted to talk about something that is really important for accounting students and graduates or those looking to come into the accounting profession or bone up their skills in the accounting profession, and that is data analytics. Now, what exactly is data analytics? It's really using financial and non-financial data to help companies make better decisions. Now, you might be thinking, hang on a second, haven't we already been using data in accounting forever? That's absolutely true because we've been using data in the accounting profession since Pacioli, all right? Since the time of double entry bookkeeping, we've been using accounting data and non-accounting data to help firms make decisions. Now, why are we talking about data analytics today um, when we've been doing it all this time? Well, really, it's the significant volume of data. We're certainly hearing the words big data, or if you're in the United States or North America, you'll hear big data. Um, that is, is really what's changing things. We're collecting data and it's accessible about all sorts of different things, buying habits, um, web browsing habits, where we're making our phone calls, what we click on on Instagram, what goes in our shopping carts. So there is so much data available now because of the computerization of systems. Now I'm gonna put a link here to a great video by Professor Julie Smith David. She is one of the pioneers really um, in this area. She was talking about big data and um, Professor Bill McCarthy from Michigan State University have been talking about computerization and accounting data and all of that for a really long time. But Julie has a really great video from an American Accounting Association seminar a number of years ago about big data, as the Americans call it, and why it's always been a thing for us as accountants. So for accountants, this is nothing new. We're just learning about different contexts in which it can apply. Now, of course, in terms of study options, you could choose to do an entire degree on data science, data analytics. Now, if you're going into that data science, data analytics area, there's certainly lots of programming. So most data analytics courses will get into programming in things like R and Python to be able to analyze data. But what I wanna talk about today is really more the smaller scale free stuff that you can get into. Now we can use all sorts of things and tools for data analytics. The simplest one is Excel. Everybody knows Excel, um, or hopefully you know Excel. There's certainly lots of channels on YouTube where you can learn about Excel, but Excel is probably the basic one. In terms of tools and free courses with Excel, I'm gonna link you to Wendy Teets. She is a professor at Kent State University in the US. Hi Wendy, she and I are friends. She has a great little YouTube tutorial about how you can use Excel for data analytics. And check out her website as well. There's plenty of information there about how you can use to learn Excel for data analytics yourself. On top of Excel is a tool called Power BI, and that's developed by Microsoft. Now, Power BI on your desktop, um, a single individual license is absolutely free. And if through your institution or through your professional association, you've got access to LinkedIn Learning, which is the uh, new name for lynda.com, there's probably plenty of free courses that you can do inside LinkedIn Learning that will help you learn Power BI. There's also some Power BI for accountants that are out there. I'll put everything that I've found that's useful for you in the description so that you can go and check it out. But Power BI is free. It's really just an amped up version of Excel. 
Another option that's really popular these days is a product called Tableau. Now Tableau does cost money, but if you're a student or you're an educator, you'll get a free 12 month license by writing to Tableau, providing them with your student details. And then they also have some training and tools um, and free courses that you can do to learn Tableau and its power as a data analytic and data visualization tool. Another piece of software that's really common in the audit space when it comes to data analytics is a tool called IDEA. And IDEA is not new. IDEA was a tool when I was an auditor more than 20 years ago and certainly beefed up a lot since then, but it is the original data analytics tool for audit besides the proprietary software owned by um, the big four and the second tier firms. IDEA is not easily available. Some universities will have licenses to IDEA through their institution, but there is the ability to actually contact IDEA and the company that makes IDEA Caseware if you're a student to be able to get access to a student license and free student training resources. That's something worth looking into if you're specifically looking at a tool that um, a lot of audit firms do use. The next tool I have for you for learning about data analytics is an absolutely free, yep, I said a free virtual internship through KPMG and a program called Inside Sherpa. You'll get an idea of KPMG's data analytics methodology. It's a free online course, you get a little certificate of completion at the end, um, and that's open to everyone, anyone, you don't need any special software for it. Um, it's all contained within the website. Inside Sherpa offers virtual internships on all sorts of different things so that you can try and gain some experience if you can't actually get off campus and you're a student or you can't get into an audit practice. Now that's not quite the same as real hands-on internships, but it's a really good place to start. The very last item I have for you in the free ways to learn data analytics is PwC's Coursera course on data analytics. Now that course is free to audit. And audit just means you get to sit in, do the exercises, but you don't get any feedback. Of course, if you wanna do the assessments, you can pay for that to get a small micro-credential type of certificate that will show up on your LinkedIn learning. Why is it important that we learn about data analytics? Well, we know that data is going to drive more and more decision making. It's going to go into algorithms that will help predict what we need to buy, where we need to go, um, public transport, schools, health, help us identify disease outbreaks. So data and the use of data is becoming ingrained into everything that we do every day. So from an accountant's perspective, understanding how to use the data we have access to, to help improve corporate decision-making or non-corporate decision-making if you're working for a social enterprise, that is going to be really important because more and more of accounting is becoming automated. We know that um, a lot of graduate positions are sort of shrinking in terms of numbers because of the automation of accounting. So we need to find other ways that we can add value to the business. And one of those ways is using data to help us tell a story. What has been happening? Where should we go? What could we do? So data analytics is going to be one of those really important tools for the future. Now, if you have any other good free resources for learning data analytics, I'd love to hear about them and I'll add them to my list here. But as always, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to get all the latest news and accounting content. If you thought the video was useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. You can catch me on social media on Facebook and Instagram as Amanda Loves to Audit, on Twitter as Amanda's Audit, because I can't use Amanda Loves to Audit, it's too long. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.